Hey guys, uh, this is just going to be a quick tutorial here on uh, badges and all that good stuff, face packs and so on, on Football Manager 2012. Now I've had a lot of people ask me, uh, you know, how do I do it, you know, where do I get them from, etc. What I'm going to do is I've got a link here, I'm going to pop it in the description uh, below, so if you want, want it, all you do is, and th sorry, th this is for, I should say, the standard Premier League logos and competitions, so as you can see here, all 20 uh, clubs, Premier League, uh, logo, badge, whatever you want to call it, the FA Cup, the Carlton Cup and the Community Shield, all you do is just uh, click download and uh, my computer very nicely decided to tell me that's something there, uh, <laughs> get out of here, um, yeah all you do is just click download, that'll download and then um, what it, this, this is the, well it's, there's, there's, it comes in about three stages, that's the first stage, all the way down here there's a comment or you know at least you can follow my lead here, I'd like to thank Dean Henderson this pop up go away. <laughs> Dean Henderson uh, for this, uh, he's just helped us out. They just left a comment on the video where you put it. So all you do is go to my documents. This is where, and obviously you unzip the file. I should point out. Uh, documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2012, data. Now you may not have data, so all you need to do is you need to go to new folder and make an oops, make a new folder. I don't know why I've called it that. <laughs> make a new folder. I was going to say let's call it data, or just like that. And then open that up. Don't know why I did that there. Make one called like another one in there called graphics. I remember this uh, happened in um, Football Manager 2011 as well. And then you make another one called pictures. Oops, there Daisy. There we go. Pictures. And then one final one. I know it's long-winded, but it's worth it. Trust me. And then you can make the last one called logos. And then once you have done that you uh, just get this very quickly, as you can see there's some Football Manager videos all lined up and ready. Uh, all you do is open up, I have, uh, if you have, you need uh, a zip file to this, now uh, if I just click on that, uh, click on extract, and it does that. Now you will need a file called WinRAR, um, or as well I've got here, FreeArc, uh, you will need that, I would uh, just, just Google WinRAR and download whatever's whatever operating system on Windows or Mac or Windows 7, XP, whatever is wrong, just download it for you and it'll be there and then you just unzip it, it's as simple as that really, just Google WinRAR or I might put a link to it in the description as well, so once you got that just take this Premier League folder pop it in this logo folder once that's done clearly the uh, capture software has clearly taken its toll on it ok that clearly just hasn't worked has it, oh there we go <laughs> was very odd. Um, so that's in there now. Now I'm just going to boot FM up and this is the, this is the crucial part. Now. I'm going to boot FM up and I'll tell you next stage. See you in a second. And so once you've uh, once you've uploaded, uh, or sorry, booted up rather FM 2012, all you need to do is to get the final bit to work. You go to preferences, display and sound uh, and then what you do is, I've already done it here, but you need to tick Re always reload skin on confirm and untick it or it should be ticked for you use skin cache once that's done just click confirm it'll come with a box saying uh, loading up the new image skin and uh, it should work then now, I'm not going to show you anything because I don't want to spoil any results as I am quite a bit ahead in the story so I'm not going to spoil anything but uh, that should work now if you have any more problems uh, just tell in the comments but um, yeah apart from that that's um, happy gaming that will be a few different things, things will be different for the face packs but honestly when you go to download a face pack check the comments, that's what I'm going to say, scroll down to the bottom check the comments, most of the time will be someone there telling you what to do for a face pack or a different type of logo, I mean that is the logos, I can't imagine it's too different for face packs either so don't fret over that but as I say just check the comments If and then obviously if all else fails just write in the comments and I'll see what I can do so thanks for watching guys and happy gaming